Felt really good off the tee, and that's what it takes out here to shoot solid. Was popping the disc really well, giving myself looks. Yeah, it feels good. I almost felt like a little slow, not slow, but kind of, you know, like hole two, I feel like I should get every every time. But I kept it pretty clean. The one unfortunate bogey, I think that was a, just a lack of practice on, on the one of the newer holes out here, and I just didn't remember what the LB was. So, you know, now I know, and I won't make that mistake again. Feeling good because I have been practicing, and I know my, my score should be between these. That's why I predict my score from four to, to six. So I do, I'm doing great today. I, I, I feel good with my putting, especially my putting. My drive is, is, all, right. It's all right, but my putting was good. So I'm very happy. Only missed one putt today, so yeah. I've been throwing the disc really well lately, and uh, you know, I've been putting okay, but I feel like I'm giving myself opportunities a lot, and I just need to capitalize, and today I feel like I did that. Just like the all around good feelings out there. My putt feels really hot right now, so that helps a ton. And my tee shots are really getting there. They're, they're improving, always working on stuff. So just everything feels really like well oiled right now. Hello and welcome to the 2024 Ledstone Open. We are in round two of four. In the middle of the year, I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Hawk. A little bit windier out there today, but nice and cool for Sunset Hills, which is bizarre and yeah. lovely. So it, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. The sun peaked out on the second half of the round. The wind came along with it, got a little bit gustier as time went on, but the front nine was nice and calm and a little chilly even. We're going to watch uh, Missy Gannon in the lead right now through round one. She's 84% of the time in the fairway, 83% of the time giving herself a look from circle two, and 100% circle one X for putting. Lisa Fakus played early yesterday, was in the clubhouse at a seven down very early, 74% fairway hit, 67 landing in circle two in regulation, and perfect 100% C1X putting. She's a great putter. Should be fun to watch. And that's so important at Sunset Hills where almost everyone can give themselves a look. Owen Scoggins only finding the fairway 68% of the time yesterday, only getting to circle two in regulation 72% of the time, but um, and only making circle one X. How is she here? I'm just kidding. Know. I'm just kidding. She made it. <laughs> Maybe she made all her circle two putts. Yeah, where's that stat? <laughs> Holland Hanley, 68% um, fairway hits, but I'm guessing that's something to do with the 61% C2 in regulation hits and also perfect putting in C1X. Hole one, par four, 636 feet. Everyone wants to get this one OB line to the left of the cart path along that tree line. Most women going to hang it out to the right here and land somewhere around here. Second shot is blind. You're using this tree as a marker uh, to gauge your distance. The mistake most people make is landing a little short because if you come in too fast, you can skip and find the OB water behind there. And there's almost no way you're gonna have a putt if you skip deep. So you gotta control your speed on the way in. Ladies and gentlemen with us here and everyone joining us on the Disc Golf Network. Welcome to Pekin, Illinois. Beautiful Sunset Hills Golf Club and the Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series for the second round of Discraft's Ledgestone Open presented by Grip Equipment. This is the 9.30 tee time. This is the lead card. And teeing off first. She is your leader from Beacon, New York, Missy Gannon. I would have started walking up to the tee like four different times. I thought he, would, <laughs> he just kept saying more stuff. Missy has been throwing this color shift thrasher a little bit more. I think it's a bit more stable than some of her ESP ones she's been throwing. Or a bit less. She really, <laughs> was, I think she really turned that one yeah, over. Yeah, she did. Good power. Yep. Thought its way out. Next on the tee, from Canyon Lake, Texas, Lisa Bacus. Lisa, a long time <clears throat> tour veteran, always been great at putting. She said she's always working on her tee shots, but I think as long as she's dropping them in from circle two, she's tough to contend with on a course like this. And that looks like a good start. 
long as it checks up. Uh oh. I think it's okay. Skipped a little more than I expected. After Owen's elbow injury last year, I swear she has just gained 100 feet of distance on both her backhand and forehand. <laughs> right. Bionic arm. Not going to say anything until it lands. That was a good shot. And from Grapevine, Texas, Holland Handley. Holland had a bit of a slower start on the front nine yesterday, but then had a really great back nine to get on lead card today. Holland, one of the bigger distance throwers in the FPO field. She's one of the few that was able to give herself a look at the basket yesterday. Although from out of bounds, she was way down there. Inbounds today. Mm -hmm. Own forehand. You won't see hardly anyone else do this, but it's a smart play, honestly, because it's fading away from OB. Buzzing the basket, going wow. in deep. So good. So Haley King tried to take that forehand as well, but you really don't see that very often. Lisa pretty close to OB, but she is safe, hanging out wide and trying to get some fade down the hill. She's done pretty well this year. She made an appearance on lead cart. Sit down. Sit uh -oh. down. Yeah. Holy <sighs> Brutal. Cow. And you just never know when that's going to happen. I she think it might have checked up. Uh, no, it looked like it rolled right over, but I guess we'll see. Uh, Lisa, though, she did get ninth at Des Moines Challenge. We saw her up there on the leaderboard, and she actually just won um, a Q Series Kansas City wide open a couple of weeks ago. So feeling good, it looks like. Man, Missy OB, too. Holland can see at least the band of the basket. Just a little standstill chip shot. She left it short yesterday, today, just outside the bullseye for birdie. That's what you want on hole one. It's a good one to bag early. Missy doesn't even have a way to get to the basket. Has to pitch out to the circle and settle for a bogey at best. Lisa's checked up, thankfully not out of bounds. She still has a birdie opportunity. Oh, all right. Man, I thought when I saw it leap over yeah. that log, I thought there was no chance it was going to stay in. Got a huge skip off the log. Own for birdie. Smooth. Ground conditions not as slippery as yesterday, which was nice, but definitely still a bit damp out there. Yeah, it's surprising how much it dried out overnight. The muddy spots aren't even close to as bad. And a great correction from yesterday from Holland. Nice birdie. This used to play as one of the harder holes in the FPO field, but averaging under par today, 35% of the field getting this birdie. Nice. I feel like it's only a matter of time before people start doing it. <laughs> well, and then it'll change completely. <laughs> yeah. Or we'll just be at a new, much longer course. Check in with Rebecca Cox on hole two. Looks like she got hole one. She's six down on the tournament. This is one where you just got to swing a hyzer in. And wow, that checked up perfectly. Beautiful start. Back-to-back -back birdies. Something that anyone in the FPO field can do at Sunset Hills. But you never quite do it as much as you want. Yeah, and then you sometimes you kick yourself a little bit as you're not doing it. At least we're right now six down through, through nine, nine holes. Wow. Okay. Great start. Hole two is 313 feet. Plays a little bit longer than that just due to the angle of the hole. You can't really throw directly at it or a flex shot. It has to be a big hyzer shot or a very low skip shot. There's a forehand as well, but you do have to carry out of bounds. No OB behind the basket to worry about. Just a little bit of a drop off that makes for some tricky putting. 
congratulations to our Jomez Pro Patreon winner. Yep, you get the disc from the practice round. Uh, it's Chris Jones and Jerry Peterson. Wait, yep. Is there two discs? You guys get something, y'all, and we're happy for you. Y'all get to share a disc. <laughs> <laughs> you can ship it back half the year, custody rights. <laughs> Holland swinging this really wide. This needs to get stable quickly. And it does. Lisa. I thought she might be going up the left side for a second. I, yeah, the, she was, I know, lined up kind of <laughs> She lined up straight but the drive is good enough to get there. As Missy said in her interview, this is one where you're pretty mad if you don't have a look. It is getting slightly harder as that first tree kind of keeps growing out and you have to swing it a little bit wider and wider, but it's still short enough and simple enough where everyone's thinking like, gotta get this one. Hauling up first for her birdie look. Clutch. Two down through two. Missy looking to erase that bogey stroke from hole one. Not quite. A nice birdie from Lisa. Oh, and closest to the pin, just outside the bullseye. Matching Holland, both of them at nine down now. 40% of the field birding this hole is the second easiest hole of the day. 19 birdies out of 46 competitors. Let's do a quick check-in with Holly Finley on hole four. She's had a lot of colors on the scorecard already today. Looking mm. to pick up a birdie. We saw Ella land here yesterday. Look how obstructed this putt is. Yeah. No problem. She's a great putt for kind of that low obstruction. It's very spinny, kind of from the chest. Great shot. So Owen and Holland gonna take the lead here over Missy Gannon. Missy and Lisa tied. Hole three is a more difficult par three, 384 feet. The more most common play is going down the center uh, that the drone is flying, throwing kind of a late turning shot, but trying to check up before these three sand bunkers that play as hazard. You do see the hyzer line off the tee. There's a couple well, there's one main gap on the right, uh, but it's going right towards an out-of-bounds cart path. Uh, it's a good play if you have it, but it's definitely less common. For a lot of the FPO field, this is a two-shot par three. Not everyone's getting to where they're getting themselves a putt. And if you do, it's usually a circle two putt. Own does a great job. She's just outside the circle and putting. She will have a little bit of a nervy putt though with that hazard bunker just behind the pin. Every time I see someone do that shot, well, I'm like, oh man, I, I should do that, that every time, but <laughs> yeah. it's harder than it looks. Uh huh. It's hard to get it to push forward. Yeah, you end up yeah, pushing that cart path a bit usually. Mm -hmm. Lisa going to take the hyzer line as well. Pushes the ceiling really nice. Get some good distance. I think she's right around circle's edge as well. Yeah. See, that's the line, I'm telling you. It's the way. There was, uh, what was the wind today? A little bit of a headwind? No, tailwind, I think. Yeah, it was, it was a tailwind. tailwind. It was hard to get your disc to turn. Missy, too low, and that's going to be a surprisingly tricky little upshot with those bunkers. Not quite as tricky as this. Holland having to deal with this tree, going right at the bunker, trying to fade. So wow. good. 
literally, <laughs> literally skipping the absolute earliest it can and checking out the latest possible. Like I'm parking it in the skinniest part of the green. Wow. <laughs> it works every blade of grass. Cover to cover. <laughs> Wow, great shot from Missy as well. Yeah, it makes it look like it's no big deal. Just a reminder that we do have a Trash Panda Ghost Stamp Dune in red and Jomez teal at jomezpro.com. It's made from 100% recycled plastic, so go check that out. Own missing the basket. Gonna be in the hazard looking at a bogey. God, those hazards come up so quickly behind the basket. Makes this putt right here very scary. Lisa does a safe bid. You can easily check up off the cage and backwards into the bunker, but thankfully Lisa's disc sets down. She'll have a tap and par. Own bogey. This is one of the few, it's probably the only par three out here where you're not beating yourself up too much if you bogey it, but it still doesn't feel great. Yeah, it's the second most difficult hole of the day just from lack of birdies. There was only one today from Emily Weatherman. She was inside the circle. Nice. Yeah, there's usually only ever one or two. A day. Everyone else on our lead card going to par. Holland leading the way right now. And looking so solid. Yeah, you can tell she was a little mad about yesterday's front nine. Uh -huh. Very businessy today. <laughs> What is the simplest way to improve your disc golf game? The answer, learn from the very best. Paul Uliberry, Simon Lazat, Ezra Aderhold, and Holland Hanley. They're not just players, they are your elite coaches guiding you every step of the way. The Power Disc Golf Academy is the premier online disc golf academy with over 150 on-demand lessons that are specifically designed to improve your skills right now. So what are you waiting for? Join today at PowerDGA.com. Moving on to the downhill hole four. It's 345 feet, plays a lot shorter than that, but it is a technical little line. There's some, there's a ceiling right off the tee pad that doesn't allow you to just kind of dummy a high hyzer. You have to throw a little bit more direct and nose down to get to the screen. You don't want to go too far though, because there is an out of bounds green and a hazard bunker on the right. If you don't get your disc to fade, and if you come in too early or high, there's some branches that can knock you into that out of bounds pond. Once again, mostly a tailwind here. Holland swinging this really wide, bringing that bunker into play. Or the water, wow, it was short. What was that, hold on. I don't know, kind of a funny play. She played a lot wider and a little higher yesterday. Yeah, Z Raptor it looks like again, but. A different one than yesterday. Lisa way mm. wide as well. Fade, fade, fade. Checks up just in time. She'll have a circle's edge putt. Even though it doesn't look as steep downhill, it really is. You have to kind of commit to a weird nose angle here. Everyone kind of trying to just work this hyzer line, not trying to get close to the basket, relying on their putting abilities. Yeah, with that tail kind of slight right to left wind, you really don't want to leave it inside and catch those branches, which will always drop you into the water. Oh, and with a really nice looking shot. Yeah, keeps it in tighter and she'll have a short putt for birdie. Holland up first. She's outside the circle. Oof, inch low on the cage. Let's see if Lisa can do it, she's outside as well. Oh, what a great bid from Lisa, having to think about the the tops of those little bushy areas as well. There she is. Let's see, getting some green on her scorecard. Back to even par on the round. <laughs> nice putt from Own. No pars yet. <laughs> Swinging back over to Lisa. <laughs> There's her par. Mm. 
these next three holes, hole four, five, and six, you're kind of bummed if you're not walking away with at least one birdie out of those three. They're all just right out there in front of you. And we got a three-way tie at the top here. Look at Elisra, seven down through 12 so far on the round, screaming up the leaderboard. Hole five, a very short par three at 246 feet, shooting out of the gap over the pond uh, to the pin that is only, what, 20 feet, 25 feet from the water's edge. You see backhand putter shots, maybe a mid-range or some sidearms going at the water and fading away from it. I would say most common mistake is kind of playing it a little too safe and ending up by those bushes over there. We saw Missy land in there yesterday. Um, kind of a headwind here today. And yeah, Missy way overturns this. It's very short. It's not even sure that's in circle two, but it's safe. Yeah, this kind of looks like it could be an island hole, but there's no out of bounds besides the water. So you can land pretty much anywhere that you see that's green, including the cart path. Own Ooh. really flirting with the OB. Be interesting to see where they give her that mark. She was, man, right on the edge of it the whole time. Holland going putter, same as yesterday, but she leaves it wider and she's at least past that bush and is gonna have a look. <laughs> the wind made this one a little tough today. Just a little bit of right to left, if I remember correctly. Like, and head as and well. a little head. Lisa taking a more direct route, but not trying anything crazy. Throws this one nice and soft, kind of trying to float it up to the green. Still, no one parking it like you want on this one. I haven't gotten this one yet, and if I don't tomorrow, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> it should be so easy. We'll follow up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I won't be here. I was just going to quit <laughs> everything. Holland from outside the circle going straight oh. at the water's edge. Wow. What a putt. Baller. Moves to three down. And yes, please, let's see that again. Look at that water. It's right there. Just staring her right in the face. Man, running that hard at a circle two putt. Big props. Holland Hanley. Here's Lisa from just inside the circle, and that's a great putt. Both the drive and the putt were just so smooth. Yeah, she's looking calm. Yeah, she's making it look effortless. Unable to save the par after going out of bounds. You definitely don't want to pick up a bogey stroke here. Half the field birdieing this one. It's the easiest hole of the day. Tell me about it. Holland going to take, or maintain the lead rather. At 10 down, Lisa own Missy all right behind her. Tight race. Hole six is our first par five at 712 feet. It's a little bit softer a par five, but the second half is so technical that it makes sense. Uh, the first half is nice because you can get aggressive and maybe even try to run this green for an eagle. And we will see some people in the field making that attempt, but it can get you into trouble and quickly turn into a bogey. Uh, a lot of players just chucking a drive out there nice and safe, staying away from the OB, pitching up and throwing their sh third shot across to get an easy birdie. Those two guardian trees on the green though can be very tricky. Holland left this one inside yesterday and was out of bounds and then still went across on the next shot. This is a really good correction. She's in the middle with plenty of distance to go across if she wants to and we know she wants to. I really like the play of kind of throwing it over OB on more of a turn. We saw Cat Merch on our card do that today. And oh, so cool. Yeah, it's a really nice shot. The fairway sets up great for it but if you mess it up the ob is so punishing the shape of the fairway is a little tricky lisa not trying to do anything crazy uh, i like that play just going towards the ob fading away from it um, no danger at all and you can still birdie from over there missy was something similar but pushing a little farther than lisa 
yeah, there it was a headwind off this mm-hmm. tee pad. So hard to try to bite off a ton of distance. Yeah, definitely had to be careful with your angles here. Looks like a new destroyer from own. I didn't know she threw new discs. Yeah, the pink one. Yeah. Who is it? Who is she? A nice layup from own to the short side of the pond. Aggressive layup. Love it. Yep, she's on the other side of the cart path. That is safe. Lisa going sidearm on her layup. I kind of like progressing down the left side a bit more. Then you don't have to go quite as straight at it across the pond. Missy doing just that, setting up for more of a hyzer approach to the green. You'd rather get tangled up in that left side tree than the right one because the right side tree branches are kind of hanging out over the water. Holland, not going for it today. Guess she, she learned her lesson from that bogey yesterday yeah. and is down to take hopefully an easy birdie. Though this layup is anything but easy. That pin is only about 10 feet from the water's edge, so it's really easy to go too far past it. Yeah, Lisa coming in hot. She is still inside the circle, though, with a little bit of a scary putt back towards the water. The basket's pulled, what, 15 feet off the edge? Yeah, it's close for sure. Missy a little lower and more linear, but still skying over the top of the basket. Is it outside the circle, though, for her birdie? Better long than short, though. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, it's the worst having to throw over this pond twice. Holland really saws this one off. As Madison said, this is the better tree to mess around with, and she gets away with it. Own oh, trying to still throw a flex into the green. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Everyone's still going to have to earn it, though, on these birdie putts. Missy up first. Okay. There she is. Another birdie on the day. Strong looking putt. Yeah. Lisa looking so steady on the green today as well. Now three down. It's fun to watch everyone get birdies. <laughs> Ah, you jinxed it. Ah. Yeah, everyone definitely getting a, a few more birdies early than yesterday. Front nine played surprisingly hard yesterday for a lot of the field. This is a cool green, too, because you can see, like, six different holes from here. Maybe even more than that. Yeah, it makes for some fun spectating, for sure. Holland, cool to see her take some off and just play for the birdie, get it no problem. There were two eagles today, nice. Ella Hansen and Elisra. Middling got it. Wish I knew how far their putts were, but it doesn't matter. They got threes. So cool. Missy and Lisa going to overtake own there. Stacy Ronsley shooting up the leaderboard five down through 11 and tie for fifth now. Hole. Seven is a new pin, about 100 feet back or maybe more from the old one. Sorry, new tee pad. Uh, par four, 575 feet. Kind of difficult. You're throwing over a hill. You want to get to these two big trees or farther if you can. If you get out more to the right, you can throw around these trees on more of a hyzer rather than go straight through like the drone is flying. The way that these trees are just kind of sprinkled throughout the fairway makes it difficult to get a clear line at it. Um, if you kind of shorten the hole by landing on the left, you need a really powerful sidearm to get to the pin on the second shot. There is OB pretty far to the left and right. Um, you can find it though if you get a little squirrely. Holland working a nice little hyzer flip shot, gets the full flight, 
not worried about OB at all because she just threw it a mile. This one used to be the easiest hole, but now it's pretty difficult to birdie. Uh, it plays much farther than the 575. Yeah, you have to get aggressive on the tee shot, but to get aggressive, you have to push out of bounds. Lisa definitely pushing it a little bit, but landing safe. You see releasing on a hyzer angle and just gonna hold that gentle hyzer all the way. It's hopefully that tree isn't in her way. Yeah. Still a good ways to the pin from there. A little bit more of a conservative shot from Missy, not wanting to push that OB right like she did yesterday. But it's gonna make her second shot really difficult. Own gonna have some trouble as well. Wow, never mind. I mean, I thought she was more pinched off. But that. also, this it's, it's just far. It's far, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, they. I kind of think they'll get in a circle too, maybe. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a rip from over there. Hole seven has definitely become the hole of the long putt. Lisa has a better look at it. She does swing this pretty wide. She'll be, looks like, edge of circle two, perhaps. Yeah, Missy dealing with this tree a little bit. And also that corner tree. She's pretty pinched here. Throwing it straight at OB and fading in. Great power. Yeah, this is definitely the hole of the circle two putt. Holland, though, way down here and can definitely reach this green. Just a controlled hyzer shot. She goes around that final tree, hyzering in and skipping up right outside the bullseye, playing the hole exactly how you're supposed to if you can throw 400 feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really well played. Most of the field kind of left with these little chip shots or long circle two putts. It looks like only 13 people got to circle two in regulation. Only five got to circle one out of 46 competitors. Missy, she's still outside circle two, actually. Gives it a good looking run, but that'll be a par. This hole was, had some very swirly wind, nestled in some hills. This green definitely got a little gusty, but Holland's still walking away with a birdie. And a turkey, she's five down now. There were only four birdies on this hole today besides Holland, Haley King, Lexi Marks, and Elisa Midling. Lexi and Elisa, both newer players on the tour, both can throw absolute bombs. And you guys know Haley King. You've heard of her. You probably make fun of her behind her back. <laughs> Like we do. You probably wish you could wear white pants as good as she does. <laughs> and ahead, looking at Stacy Ronsley on hole 12. This is the fourth card. There's a couple geese on this card, so unfortunately we know exactly what happens. <laughs> I'll try to pretend. We'll tell you in our language. Honk, 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 <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Honk. Yes, yeah, Stacy Ronsley making this hole look easy. It was an absolute bomb of a drive. And that's such a good putt from a knee straight at the out of bounds. Stacy currently with the hot round tying Elisra six down through 12. We watched her just get one birdie after another on the front nine before we get ahead of ourselves, so we're on hole eight. It's uphill 292, plays more like 340. It's an absolute bomb with the way the trees are. <laughs> uh, a big turnover shot, I think, is my preferred way of getting there. But if you turn it over in a little bit early of the pin, there is an out of, or a hazard bunker that can make putting very difficult, a little bit of a death putt from there. We see a lot of power players going a little bit lower and pushing the ceiling of those tree branches usually ending up a little bit left by that big tree. Holland a little bit shorter than she wants here, needed just a bit more height. She'll still be in circle two, it looks like.
Lisa with a really nice angle out of her hand, but it doesn't quite hold. There is another hazard bunker over on the left side, but she doesn't find it, thankfully. This hole was, I believe, a uh, left to right crosswind slash a bit of a headwind. Yeah, yeah, it did make it is turn more. Yes, that's right. Um, Missy looks like she checks up just before the bunker. That's a good looking shot. Own going forehand, I believe. Didn't we see her park this yesterday mm -hmm. on a check-in with the forehand? We sure did. This one, she's floating out pretty wide, doesn't get the ground play. She'll be just outside the circle with a birdie putt. Being to the left of that green is really nice because you don't have as much of a death putt. Lisa, though, with a very tricky approach with that hazard bunker and the hill to the left. Holland able to run this if she wants, so there is that drop off. She's just going to lay up. I guess five down through eight's still pretty good. Screen. She didn't need that one. <laughs> yeah, the screen's so hard to access. Only three people got to circle one in regulation, while 24 got to circle two. Uh, so it's just a lot of circle two putts on this hole. Insulting and, when it's technically under three feet. Yeah, and it's... Uh, a tricky putt. Missy running it here, and she's going to go way down the hill on the backside. You don't see a lot of people running that putt as hard as we saw Missy. Thankfully, it checked up okay. She's still inside the circle. Yeah, closer than I would have guessed, honestly. Me too. Nice recovery. There was three birdies on hole eight today. H Haley King and Lexi Marks again getting the birdies when no one else is. Kat Merch also got the two on this one from circle two. <laughs> Round of bars, pretty typical here on hole eight. Checking in with Paige Pierce on hole nine. It's like She's even on the round, taking this right side gap, going huge. This is going to get close to the water, I think. <laughs> That's monstrous. Wow. That is a full 100 feet farther than most women are landing. Look at this. She could putt it. That's a soft bid for sure. Perfect angle on that drive. It's a hard gap to hit. And to keep it on that kind of slightly turning angle to get that distance, so cool. Colin holding on to the two-stroke lead right now over Lisa and Missy. Stacy, Haley, and Ellie Elizra still with the hot rounds at six down under par. And rounding out the front nine, a par four. We just watched Paige Pierce birdie, but it's not that easy. Even at 535, it feels like it plays a bit longer. You can take the gap just before the drone uh, a little bit more to the right, or you can go down the left side with a straight shot or perhaps a turnover, maybe a sidearm, but there's OB on the left early. Then you got to cross the pond. Um, you don't want to go too far past it though, because that basket is elevated and there is water there. So you often leave yourself with a death putt looking at a birdie or sometimes even a par. Colin, once again, going up the left side, not something we see a lot of people do, but it works as it gets through those low hanging branches. As long as you get even with that tree, it's not, it's not that far from there. It's very doable. If you land shorter there, that's where you're thinking, do I lay up versus going across? Here's that right side gap I was talking about that we saw Paige take. I kind of like this play where you yeah, skip in back into the trees. You do have to get a bit lucky yeah. I don't think she's happy with it, but honestly, that's great over there. She'll be happy when she gets down there. Mm -hmm. She wanted to push farther straight like we saw Paige do. More of a hyzer flip shot. Missy working that angle here. But more often than not, this gets pinned up on these trees. It's hard to get it to keep turning like Paige's did. I'm going to work a sidearm right towards that out-of-bounds line on the left. Trusting it to come back. And that's great. 
Everyone going to have a chance to cross here on the second. Holland able to go standstill. She got even a little bit farther than I thought. Pretty open. She dunked this one in the pond yesterday on the short side today. Ooh. Did she just hit the basket? Uh, it was close, that's for sure. Regardless, she's <laughs> loving it and in the circle for a birdie. Lisa, nice and low and linear. Great upshot. So controlled. Yeah, almost hits the hay bales. Wow, these are some big drives. They're huge. And really nice little touchy approaches as well. Oh, yeah. Bullseye hit looks like for own. Mm, wow, Missy far enough down there. Usually on this right side, there's more of a ceiling to deal with, but she's far enough. Oh, it's still a little low. And I think it's OB on the short side. Yeah, I don't think that had a chance to cross. Surprising mistake. Pretty reflection in the pond. <laughs> also, Missy is going. Sit down. Oh, Oof, that's why I do not like these hay bales for that reason. Oh my God, that is brutal. It really is a rough break. Holland for birdie. And Holland Hanley, six down, bogey free on the front nine. Big change from what we saw yesterday. I think. What was she yesterday on the back? Like five down? Yep. She, the potential's very high for her to shoot hot today. Everyone's chasing those double digits to win. Owen with a really nice easy birdie. And Lisa too. Owen and Lisa both four, four down, I believe, today. Or no, Owen's three down. We're going to see when we check in. You know math is in our strong suit. Missy, having to settle for a double bogey here after a really bad luck break. Yeah, to move to one over par on the front nine, not what you want. And one more check-in before we leave with Stacy Kiefer. Yeah. She's oh, pretty. even par on the front. This is such a difficult hole. It's a new pin position, and this is what you see a lot of. With a great drive. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Highlight. I think oh, we actually saw more birdies than I expected. On that. It was like eight yesterday. Mm -hmm. and I was guessing there's, oh, look at this. Oh. Another check-in with the goose, Erica Stinchcomb. Having a rough day. <laughs> Don't look at the scorecard. <laughs> on hole 14, pushing that OB line. From but. circle two. Yeah. 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 Oh, thanks guys. Putting that in. <laughs> Honk to our media team and friends <laughs> at Joe Mez. We love it here. Um, I'm, so, I'm so touched. Anyway, Holland Hanley leading the way. Lisa Vegas holding on to second place. Stacey Rollinsley in a tie for third at seven down. So is Elisa Middling. Own Scoggins dropping um, to that tie for third with them as well. A lot of shifting around, a lot of birdies. A lot of other scores happening out there today. Yeah, this is not a course that I think is known for necessarily scoring separation. You kind of just have to hang it around even par or just under. Uh, cut line is at right around 22nd, I believe, 22nd, 23rd. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's sitting around uh, even par right now. Overall, the bottom half of the field just hoping to stack some more birdies up. We got nine more holes out here at Sunset Hill in round two. We're not even to moving day yet. We got four rounds at this course to uh, do some work. We'll see you guys on the back. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb, and we're the two hot geese. Honk. Honk.